Hey YouTube, this is Sean, Griffin RC Plans. Got a quick one for you regarding the NX transmitter lineup. Had an awesome subscriber, one of you guys, that I almost feel like I'm friends with half of you, or, or nearly all of you now. He said, hey, I got the new E-Flight Cirrus, the new one. The first Cirrus that came out was blue, and it had an AR636 receiver in it. Then they re-released it, and now the plane is red. And it has the smart technology in it, the AR637TA receiver and the Avian 60 amp smart speed control. So now you're like, hey, you know, I can take advantage of all this smart stuff that has come in the plane. And the way we can add these planes to our transmitters is in the NX series transmitters, you can go to model select here. And you can go down here to add new bind and fly model. And then you can go through the list of all the planes that Horizon Hobby, E Flight, Hobby Zone, and, and a few other brands, what they sell. And someone has already configured all the settings for your transmitter and they made it really nice and simple here to click and import it into your transmitter. But in the list for the Cirrus that we're talking about, the newer red, Smart capability uh, E Flight Cirrus, which is serial number EFL 15950. It's not in this list. What's in the list is the previous one that was blue, which is EFL 5950. So the difference is they added a one in front of the 5950. So I compared apples to apples in the, uh, in the manuals for the first blue cirrus and the second red cirrus and there's no difference except for one of the switches for your dual rates as far as the servo travel and the flap settings and the speed of the flaps and the expo and all that stuff it's all the same so you're not missing out on anything now that the new uh cirrus that comes with the you know the avian Smart speed control and all that, you know, it's capable of thrust reversed. But in the manual, it says that this plane doesn't come with thrust reverse set up, that you'll have to do that on your own if you want to. So, in the long and the short, you're not missing anything by not being able to download the exact plane. A few, a switch, I think, is different for the dual rates. So, we'll go, we'll go to the dual rates real quick on the Cirrus. And we'll see if the ailerons, they have them set up on, uh, on switch C for your high, medium, and low. And then for the elevator is on switch C also. And the rudder, they have it set up on switch C also. And then for the flap settings, The elevator down mix of 4% for mid flaps and 6% for full flap is the exact same from the previous series to the newer series. So everything is the same. The speed being at two seconds is the same. So nothing is different. You're not missing out on anything. If you want to enable the thrust reverse and all that, you'll still have to do that with your transmitter. It's, it wasn't there. They didn't intend for it to come in the package having thrust reverse. It's something you need to add. So, with that being said, I guess that's it, guys. So, we didn't miss out on anything on the Cirrus. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Until next time, you'll see me here. Give me a thumbs up, guys. That goes a long ways. Thank you.